There, need to get these uh, better melon in the ground. We grow them from seed. Uh, this is uh, Indian hybrid variety. They're the smaller ones with a lot of ridges on them. So it's supposed to rain here, probably starting tomorrow or Saturday. They rain all weekend, and I need to get them in the ground because they're getting root down in these little styrofoam cups. So let's get them done. I'll be uh, putting them in this little ridge I got here, a little row on the end of the trellis. And I'll mix some compost in with it. Homemade punk compost. That's growing a lot of stuff out of it. So we'll put that in there too. I've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So typically you can run these things with a spacing on them pretty close together and uh, have plenty of better melon. All right, that ought to be good for that weed at least. Now, I don't know how this stuff grows elsewhere. I'm in zone 7B in the United States. And, uh, never grown it anywhere else but 7D and it grows pretty good. Uh, the only problem I ever had is if you don't pick the fruit off of it, they'll turn orange and blow up and throw seeds everywhere. And since it's uh, since it's F1 seed, not a not a not a heirloom uh, the seeds will start to grow the next year. And you don't know what you're going to end up with. We grew this variety before. We had a lot of them grow up from when we left them on the vine. We missed them and they blew up, scattered seeds everywhere. And they just germinated by themselves in the ground. But what we ended up with, instead of a dark green, we ended up with a, a white one, which was pretty much flavorless. So you want to get all of them and discard the seeds in your compost pile along with the vines and everything else and compost them. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the ground. I'm going to put in a little fertilizer next to it and a little bit of calcium, a little bit of gypsum or pelletized calcium or pelletized gypsum to go with them. You hear that? Somebody just had kittens over here not that long ago. They, they need to get going. If you look there, that's what your better metal looks like. It looks just like any other kind of squash coming up. More of these in good for now. So I tend to hit everything in the garden about once every about once every two weeks I got on a schedule on my little calendar that reminds me of when to do it. And I'm just using a 10 10 10 fertilizer. So a little bit of phosphorus, a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of potassium. Now, if you live in some place where it's still a little colder, 
the seeds really won't germinate until they hit about 80 degrees outside, until the soil temps hit 80 degrees. So that'd be a reason you start them inside so you can at least get them started a little bit. And actually some of those weren't even started yet. So looks like we got three, four. We got four that were already started. Fairly decent, had a good root ball on them. In fact, they were getting root bound already. Uh, hotter it gets, the better these things will grow. Keep them watered. Uh, just remember, it's, before you plant something, make sure it's something that you will actually use. So if you're not sure what it tastes like, go to a local Asian market and buy one. And there's enough recipes online to figure out how to cook them. Uh, just buy one first before you ever plant. And the same with anything. You know, if you don't like tomatoes, don't plant tomatoes. If you don't like potatoes, don't plant potatoes. And on and on. You want you want to grow stuff that you'll actually eat. And the leaves are the leaves are edible too. Predators. As far as insects go, not really a problem. Uh, the only thing that does really get them is once they set fruit, you can get them little white flies will hit the fruit. And you can, uh, what a lot of people do in other countries is they'll bag them. They'll stick like paper bags over the fruit to keep the white flies off. They'll bore holes in it and lay eggs or whatever they do. Basically ruin it. So that's bitter melon, ampelia, balsam pear, Corellia, bitter gourd, bitter melon, whatever you want to call it. That, that thing will grow up all over this and will cover this entire structure here with vines. And you have to train them so the fruit just kind of hang down. And you want to get it once they start turning orange or yellow, pull them off there and throw them in your compost pile. As long as you keep pulling fruit off, it'll, it'll keep producing. We've had them produce all the way up into October before. Yeah, they'll grow pretty quick. Like I said, it's it's better. It's, it's not to everybody's taste. So buy 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 one of the fruit at the your local Asian market if they have them. Most of them do. Probably not the same variety. They usually have the long long green ones that look like big long wrinkly cucumbers. Uh, supposed to be good for diabetes control. Supposed to be. I, I haven't really tested it, so I don't know. That's what they say anyway. But that's it for the Wet Bitter Melon. If you made it this far, thanks. Appreciate it. If you like it, if you like my content, please subscribe, like, share, comment, all that. And I'll try and answer any questions as best I can. I'm not an expert at this stuff by any means, but I'm learning as I go. Anyway, thank you.